Hey everyone, if you started watching this video, you are probably wanting to learn more about Python and how we're gonna solve the problem, how many numbers are smaller than the current number on lead code. So first I'm going to tell a little bit about the problem, then we'll go through an, an example. I'll give a, a solution, how we're gonna do it, and then we'll do the code. So I'm gonna actually skip the description because I think it's a little more confusing than the title itself, and we'll just keep it simple. Really what we're looking for is, we're gonna take a number in an array, and then we're gonna compare it to the other numbers and find out how many numbers are smaller than that number. And then we'll go to the next number, compare it to the rest of the numbers, see how many are smaller, output that result. So let's look at an example here. They give us eight, one, two, two, three. So our first number eight, we have to find out how many numbers are smaller than eight. Well, all of these are smaller, so four. That's where we're gonna output four. The next number, one, no numbers are smaller than one, so zero. The next number is two. There is only one number smaller than two, so that's one. Two is the same, so we're gonna output the same. Three, there is three numbers smaller than four, or three numbers smaller than three, so we're gonna output three. So hopefully that makes sense in terms of what we're trying to do. Now let me explain how we solve it before we do code. So first thing we want to do is we want to sort out the list. Okay, eight, one, two, two, three. And what we're gonna do is sort this and that way we can check the numbers lower to the left. So if we do a sorted array, we will get one, two, two, three, eight. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to build a dictionary. And the reason we build a dictionary is so we can reference it when we go through and iterate through our list of nums. So let's do that. Let's build a dictionary. So how that's going to look is we're going to take the first one here is one and we're going to say this is at position zero and let me write down the positions one, two, three, four. So that's the order they are in the array. So our first number one here is at position zero. So we're gonna loop through this here and find each one of them. So two is at position one. And then we go to the next one, two is a duplicate. So we don't wanna have a duplicate. We don't need to output anything for that. So we're gonna skip that and go on to the next. And then three is at position three. And then the next one, eight, is at position four. Now we built our data dictionary. Now let's go on to the last step, is we wanna do a lookup of the position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to this num and we're gonna do another for loop. So we did a for loop here, now we're gonna do our second for loop and we're gonna take this number, we're gonna start here, and eight, we're gonna do a lookup in the dictionary, so eight, is at position four. One, two, three, four. There's four numbers smaller, okay? So our result of eight is at position four, so we want to output four. Then the next one, one, so we look at one. One is at position zero, so there are zero numbers smaller. The next number, two, Two is at position one, so there is one number smaller. Then the next number two is the same, is at position one. Then the next number three, three is at position three, so right here, one, two, three, so there's three numbers that are smaller. And we are done. So this should be our result. If we come back here, we look four, zero, one, one, three, and that's our result. All right, now let's go ahead and do a code solution. So I'll come over here and we will first start by sorting the array. 
So we're going to do sorted nums equals sorted posh free nums. All right, and then we're going to find define a dictionary or yeah, dictionary. And then we're going to define a result or we're going to create an empty list for a result for later. We're going to add to it. All right, so our here's our first so we've done our sort and that was the first step. The second step is we're going to do a for loop uh, and create our da data dictionary. So how that looks is we're going to do for i in range. We're going to do length of sorted noms. And then we're going to check if sorted noms at position i is not in dictionary. Then we'll do dictionary sorted noms position i is equal to i. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. What we're doing is we're looping through the sorted nums. So we're looping through here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then we're gonna say if it's not, so the first one, for example, is not, so we started to build our dictionary. So one, we're gonna put in zero. Then the second one is two, so that's not in the dictionary, so we'll store that there. Then the next one is also two, it's already there, so we'll skip it, then three, then four. So just like the steps I did earlier. So that's the first part, or the second part. Now the third part, we're going to do one more for loop. So that is going to be four i n noms, and we'll do a results dot append. We're going to add this to our list, or from dictionary value i, and then return. Results. All right. So last step here is we're going to go through the back through the nums here. So like I did earlier, eight, and we're going to check to see uh, what it is in the dictionary. We're going to do that. A look look up a dictionary I. We're going to get our result of four. So we're going to store that. We're going to pin that to our empty array four, and then we're going to do the next one one. We're going to look that up. We'll get zero. And then we're going to do two, look that up, get one, two, look it up, get one, three, look it up and get three. And that will give our result. I went ahead and added return result. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. Against all test cases, uh, we need an equal sign here. Need to spell this correctly. Apologize for all the errors. All right, now it has been accepted. Hopefully that all makes sense. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments below. And hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll hope to see you in the next one. So long.